welcome back welcome back to kenton and habiba we are gonna start off this vlog with an unboxing okay before i get along with the typical vlog a box from timu so this is just one item i plan to do a whole um clothes and accessories unboxing later you guys so this is supposed to be a portable washing machine in this box so i'm gonna have kenton uh, <laughs> first of all folks this is not sponsored right it's right. not sponsored this is, this, you know again i'm not really very familiar with timu right okay so timu really quick is like a marketplace that sells tons of different products just think a cross between shein and uh amazon um i think the quality is a little better than shein and they sell more than just clothes but they are definitely a lot cheaper than amazon so anything you want pretty much clothes gadgets shoes electronics you yeah. name it yeah. crafty but, stuff but the thing is though right is that it's just like anything buyer beware right just because something is inexpensive doesn't mean it's good so it's a balance it's gonna go ahead and start yep. uh opening it so, so it's not sponsored so we're just trying to see like what's all the hype right and does this stuff really really even work so um like i said this is supposed to be a washing machine right are you serious a washing machine so first of all it says that it's a multi-function folding washing machine so what is the multi-function and what does it mean by being folding so that gives you impression that it's portable so it's not a bad thing but what can you do with it? And so that's what we're going to find out. Right. Um, yeah, all right. You go ahead. Let's see how fast you can undo that Just and set much. it up. So just take it out the plastic bag. Again, you have small children, safety. Get rid of these plastic bags. It can be a hazard for small children. So you get some brief instructions here. All right, as soon as it's for drawing purposes, so right. those go in there and then the water extracts out. You have basically the main um, body, the washer itself. The lid comes separately, so it snaps in. And then you have a power supply. And then you have some brief instructions here. Is it okay. in English? Uh, yes, yes, it's, it's, all, it's in English. Okay. So, okay so basically yeah <laughs> i've watched a few videos with them let's see oh ooh, you got it <laughs> yeah. so here it is so it pops up so basically you have a, a plastic yeah, that expands up and down see so it just goes up if you want to expand it probably you want to put your hand down to have pressure and then you just pull it up okay. right so, so it'd be good it. for going camping or if you actually i was going to say if you lost power but if you lost power it's not going to work yeah, so basically, so here you have the power. So it's a basic, uh, it's a wall. So that's the thing, even if you go camping though, it's going to have to be a DC power cord. So you can get a converter that can attach to your car or if you have an RV unit, and then you can plug it in. But that's basically what you're looking at. Then you also need a water source. It does have a, a brief instruction on the back. So it says here how long. So, you know, 10 minutes for standard wash, uh, 15 minutes for soft washing, and then uh, two minutes for semi dehydration. I guess for drying, that's what they're trying to say there. And then you have the drainage here. So right. That's what, that's what you're looking at. So, uh, should we add water first or the clothes first? Well, or the soap first? I would say you would add the clothes first. And then you put enough water in uh, to cover the clothes. That's probably mm -hmm. how the way to judge it. So, but we're going to try it. We're going to test out, see if that assumption works. Oh, you put it in and it beeps immediately. Yeah. Oh yeah. In terms of the parts, it comes with this little basket, which will help to rinse. It has the function keys. It has a lid. It has a handle. Um, and then you see the inside and again, it's plugged in. I'll see what are you going to wash? So, right. <laughs> so, you know, here's a little, uh, 
That's my wow. silk blouse or satin blouse, satin and it's blouse. got some makeup stains, as yep. you can see Same right here. Makeup. Yeah, foundation. Yeah. Right. So we're gonna. So that should be easy. I mean, I think. So let's go ahead and just start with this. We right. also have a T-shirt. Did I say T-shirt? Yeah, <laughs> that I've been wiping my makeup on. Right. And of course, let's add a little. Let's add some real stains. Right. So I'll just say, like, you know, you you, you just had a bad day. You got some ketchup stains on it. Lord. Okay. Yep, that looks go. pretty realistic. We're yeah. not even going to rub it in. You know, you had a burger and you dropped it. Dropped oh. It. So now it's kind of filling up a little bit. So I think you don't. You can't hold that much. Yeah, because you have two. Like you might be able to do. Let's try something else a little bit. So say like you are out there camping. And one thing, if you know, in North Carolina, we have a lot of black bears. So some of the black bears have been coming out. So say like you went ahead and you ran into a black bear while you're camping. So so now we're gonna have some. Oh my god! I can't believe you brought out your briefs, Kenton. What? I did not tell him to do that, you guys. I did not. I'm just trying to be realistic. <laughs> Why? And you ran into a bear. <laughs> this could happen to you. But now. You don't want to go into town. And, oh you my know, god. So you're going to go ahead and you're going to want to go wash on the go. Oh so, my god. We're throwing that out afterwards. So okay. So now we want to go ahead and, oh wait, you know, we need, you need to have laundry detergent. Right. You need soap. So, so again, you don't need to, you shouldn't use too much. Yeah. I think you're supposed to use very little given oh, the right? size of the. Well, it also depends on how, how much staining that you had occur. And if I don't know, should you, put the or little stain, bear. should you put the soap on top of the actual stain? Should sure. we have rubbed it into the stain? I ain't touching that. What do you mean? It's for, if it's for real, and I had an accident. I'm not it came that. out of your body. <laughs> so let's see what happens to the stain. And do they tell you how much water? See, that was the thing. They don't tell you how much or how full it's supposed to be. Well, I mean, I would assume that it's just enough to cover. But again, it's sort of like with the limitation. You know, with space limitations, say like you're doing like, uh, you know what they call, what do they call it, RV line? This, right. this would be, again, this would be challenging to wash like pants. Jeans. Jeans. Oh, absolutely yeah, not. Oh, absolutely pants. not. You can't so, wash regular or, clothes. Or even dress shirts. Right. It's just the size is just really low. So this right. is really for delicate, delicate un small. undergarments. Right. right? And those uh, occasional accidents. Okay, All Kenton. Right. So we can cover that. Oops. Make sure you don't press too hard. Yeah, what does it feel like in terms of quality okay. for you? Well, I mean, again, it's portable, so you, it is what it's meant, but you gotta be careful. See, look, it goes down, so you gotta just... All right. Make sure it locks, and then we're gonna see. We're gonna start it up. Uh, let's see, let's try this one. Yeah, I think you gotta do that bottom one first, and then pick one. Oh, right. there we go. Ooh, it's on. <laughs> you feel like you're cooking, Kenton? <laughs> oh, you're washing for real? I'm cooking. Man, your stains better not mess up my uh, silk or satin shirt. Oh, yeah, I didn't think about that. You know, you didn't think about that, right? Now you got doo doo stains all over my satin white blouse. <laughs> well, you're not doo doo stains, it's Nutella. Kenton's gonna stand there forever and watch it go. You gotta wait, it's like yeah, it's, no. it's 10 minutes. Yeah, we gotta go and come back. Ain't nobody right. got time for that. That's right, all right. So we did notice that it's leaking a little bit. No, so it's coming out. I don't know where the water is coming out from. It's coming out from underneath. Obviously underneath, but. Oh yeah, and it has suction at the bottom, so it does, you know, it's adhere to the counter. To the yeah. Yeah, because see, this is, this is closed. So, again, with the vibration stuff, um, sometimes that's what happens is uh, there's the risk of it leaking. So, yeah, it made a buzzing sound when it was done. All right, so folks, yeah, so again, so with this particular unit, we had some leakage, okay? So, <laughs> leakage. And it, didn't, and it didn't come from here, I mean, in a sense that this wasn't open. So, 
it was already started to leak. So we'll take a look at, quick, quick look at it. So basically this is what it looks like now that it's done. Okay, so you still have water. So the next thing you do is all, remove it from the uh, power source. Because again, you don't want to mix water with electricity. So always be safe. And then we're going to go ahead and take it over. It's got a suction, so you want to move it up. See? You notice it's not coming from the actual spout. Right. It's coming through the bottom. Yeah, that's not okay. good. So that's not, that's, that's, a, that's an issue there, okay? Then, you, then you're supposed to then pull this out. See, now it's coming out of there. All right, so you drain water. I mean, clearly the water is cloudy, so did it do something or is that just soap and water, you know? Well, we'll, we'll find see. Out. All right. So we're back now. <laughs> all right, so you have your dryer basket. All right, so let's see what we got. So the clothes are still wet. You drain it, your clothes are, you know. So we're gonna put, so let's see how wet the basket. See, your AC, one t-shirt kind of fills up the basket. Right. So this is, this, this is probably, I'm gonna tell you, it's gonna be tough than drying it. The basket fits on top. Let's take a look and see. Oh my yeah, God. Oh no. my God, Kenton, you have no shame. The stain is gone. The stain is gone? The stain is gone. So, but let's take a look. <laughs> we're going to see if we're going to have to dry it though. So let's dry it. Oh, see, again, be careful because see, it, it collapses very easily. All right. So now go ahead. Make sure your hands are dry. Be always safe with the power to the back. You hear it? I'm going to switch it. Okay, this is supposed to be the dehydration, they call it. And how long is that supposed to go Just for? Two minutes. All right, we'll be back in two minutes. <laughs> All right. Let's see, does it look dry? So, all right, so let's see, the moment the, of truth. Yeah, are the makeup stains off? No, no. I see a stain on there. Yeah, the stain's still on. Yeah. And it's very wet. Really? Yeah. So it doesn't feel dry. Maybe we had too much stuff in there? No, but it's not like that's very wet, mm -hmm. but the other, feel that. You still have soap. Oh, really? You feel how it feels slick? Mm, I don't know. This fabric, though. No, no. Yeah? It's not, if you take it off, you don't, it doesn't feel wet. It feels a residual. So that mm. means that the soap is not there. But yeah, you can see the, you can see the makeup stain right there. Right. Here's the T-shirt. It's extremely wet. All right. So. Okay. Ketchup stain still there. It's, it's faintly. Faint, yeah. But it's still, but it's right. there. Though. Right. So. That means that when you dry it, it'll, it'll bake it in. Mm. So it'll get darker. Right, if you don't wash it properly the right. first time. And then... <laughs> oh my God. Okay, so the back stain. There's the doo-doo stain. It's gone. The doo-doo stain's so, gone? Well, I mean, it was, but it was fresh. So, <laughs> so that's the critical piece. It's gotta be fresh. <laughs> Even though the ketchup was fresh too, but so, but that seems to be, that seemed to have worked for some strange reason uh, mm -hmm. versus the, the food stain and the makeup stain. So it's basically it's a mixed result. So final thoughts about this washing machine. Hey. Would I buy it? Pass. In real life? Pass. Probably not. Pass. It, it, look, it's very limited in, in what it can do. Um, obviously it's portable, but the, uh, the, the motor's weak. Right. It leaks. Right. Okay. It also has potential, depending upon where the outlet's set, that it, it can possibly be a, uh, an issue or problem. Right. The clothes come out wet, even if you put in uh, the, uh, this, the, no, the basket the, and, basket and shampoo. On. I mean, shampoo, freaking uh, the laundry detergent. It doesn't remove it out. That's Completely. the thing. Completely. So you still yeah. have it. So if you, 
I mean, know. to me, in short, what you're buying is a glorified bucket with yeah. a spigot. That's what you're buying. Yeah. Buying with, a glorified with, with, bucket with a spigot. With a motor. With a motor that's yeah, doing that's a weak that's spin. That's doing a weak spin. I mean, you yeah. know, if you want to do that, that's up to you. But, but personally, I would just go back to the traditional, yeah. which is use your hand. If you actually yeah. really didn't have a washing machine, I think you would get a better effect or better yeah. result using yeah. your hand. That's how we did it in Africa. But of course, if you have a real washing machine, use that. But for 35, how much was it? It was somewhere between 30 to 40 dollars. Not some, worth it. Some of the vendors on team were no. actually selling it for even more. No, so it's not that's worth our it. take on it. Yep. Um, yeah. Pass. 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 <laughs> anyway, happy Father's Day. We're a day late. By the time you see this, happy Father's Day was yesterday or the day before. Do not Father's give this day. as a present for Father's Day. <laughs> Don't do it. What did Kenton get for Father's Day? I got him some baked goods. Okay, I might show you the baked no. goods, a few of them. You, do, how much of it did you eat already? You know, I'm in our fridge, and I, bought, I got a bunch of goodies from Harry and David, or David and Harry, is that, what's that name? Harry and David, yeah, as you can see. Um, definitely not for me, for Kenton, because of course these have gluten in them. You may have noticed you haven't seen son number one in the vlogs recently, and that's because he is in Japan. I'm so excited for him, or we're all so excited for him, because this is a trip he's been wanting to take. And since the graduation season was over, and you know, they went to Jamaica as well, he's been trying to get some travel in, because he knows once medical school starts, he won't be able to go places. Anyway, Khalid and two of his friends from high school are currently in Japan right now and they appear to be having a great time. We keep seeing all the videos of the foods and the different buildings and the different monuments. It just seems a great place to visit and I can't wait for him to come back so he can give us context to a lot of the videos that we've been seeing. And maybe he'll do a voiceover and we can share a video here on YouTube. That would be really cool, don't you think? Baking. So Kareem is on his bread baking thing again, or journey again, and uh, he used Guinea Stout in the bread. Y'all wanna see what this bread looks like? It's different, it's different. Let me show you. <laughs> he said this is brown bread. I ain't never seen bread like this before. It smells good though, it smells amazing. Let me just put bananas next to it so you can see the contrast. Look at that. <laughs> Kareem, so what else is in there? Obviously I can see oats is on the top. What else? Flour, what else? Uh, buttermilk. Buttermilk, okay. Flour, buttermilk, guinea stout, what else? Molasses. Molasses, uh-huh, molasses. Oh, so this might be a sweet bread and brown sugar oh my goodness and yeast no yeast no yeast wow um can we cut it i want to see one all right cut oh one's banana good cut one let me see i want to see oh you followed a recipe and yeah. okay i like that okay Although, yeah, it's a little darker than oh it's still hot yeah, I've never seen bread this dark before, but it sure looks good. Wish I could bite it. Actually, it looks more like black cake, Kareem. You know, that's what it looks like. It looks almost like a loaf of black cake. My Jamaican black cake, but it definitely smells like bread bread. I wish you could smell it. Hmm, it would look so good with some butter. Yeah, the contrast of the yellow butter on this warm bread what what well here's my bread it looks very pale <laughs> so kareem had a little bit of the guinea stout left so i don't want to waste it he didn't want it and so i'm gonna make it into a guinea stout kind of milkshake for kenton so i have a little bit of sugar in here with a little bit of water and this is my fast easy way to do it so i just melted a little bit of sugar and then we're gonna add some half and half. Okay. And for the true Jamaicans, you're probably like, that's not how you do it. You should have put it in a blender, yada, yada. But this is how I'm gonna do it. Again, real fast. So I got 
a little bit of milk or I had almond milk instead of regular milk and I put half and half. And then a little bit of sugar, a little bit of nutmeg. Um, back in the day, they used to use also raw egg, but we don't do that. And a little bit of cinnamon, just a little. Come on, cinnamon, what you doing? Okay, just a little. And then I'm gonna pour the guineas. It's not much in there, but it's enough in my opinion. Ooh, perfect, Kareem. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of ice. I wish I could taste it, but I don't feel like it. Plus it's not gluten-free. Because you know, um, Guineas is made with what, barley or, or malt and all that other stuff, so. This with the bread, a slice of bread, awesome. All right, so I'm gonna transfer it into this bigger glass with the ice. Ooh, doesn't that look good? What? You don't know how much discipline it's taking for me not to drink this. Perfect. Like I said, I was gonna put some butter on this and I'm gonna take this to Kenton. You see that? Hopefully Boo will like it. Good. That's good? Yeah. It's not too sweet, right? He told mm. me that the bread wasn't sweet. Mm. or wasn't as sweet as he thought it was gonna be. Mm. It's a little nutty. I like it. Yeah, it's brown bread. All right, try the guinea stout punch. Yeah, I'm trying to study. How am I going to do Let me see. Stuff? Try it. Because <laughs> I haven't had it in so long. You're vi I'm vicariously living through you. Oh, it's good. Yeah, it's fine. I taste the nutmeg in it. Oh, yeah? Good. Meanwhile, this is my lunch. Very little, as you can see. It's a tiny amount. You see that? Very little. And these are, this is gluten-free pasta. So it's actually made out of like lentils um, and then a little bit of protein and then a whole bowl of salad. This is actually leftover salad. So um, I have onions, cucumber, tomato, corn, and, um, and then I'm gonna add some avocado and a little bit of dressing and that's lunch. I am trying to do better. She's lost a few pounds, just a few. I am obsessed with avocado, obsessed. I could literally, you know how I used to say I can eat plantain every day? Well, I've backed off of plantain unless I boil it. So um, avocado, I could literally eat every day. This is less than a half and I'm gonna eat it with my salad, toss it up together and enjoy. Instead of editing, I'm going out. We're going out, we're going out. Typically on Saturdays, I would be editing, but it is Father's Day weekend. It's actually Saturday and Kenton would like us to go out. So we're going out, me and my scarf. No, the scarf is coming off in a minute just to make sure my edges are good. <laughs> Hello, Kenton. Yeah, so we're going out, but first we're gonna pick up Nana and we're gonna go get something to eat and then go to the movies. My little coach bag is making its debut out today. <laughs> anyway, it's a really nice day, very sunny. Can you see the magnolia trees? Beautiful day. Mm -hmm. You don't think it's a squirrel, right? Hey, Nana. <laughs> Outfit of the day. Let me see your your, your skirt. Let's see your bag. <laughs> Cute. What kind of wings are these, Nana? Just chicken wings with garlic. Oh, it's the garlic. Okay. Yeah. Right on top. <laughs> cool. Thank you. And then the half and half wings. Down the middle. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, maybe you can have one. 
I got the sweet chili wings because I like sweet and spicy. Miriam got the buffalo chicken. We all got different types of pizza and also chicken wings. And it was delicious, very delicious. I could not finish it, but really good. And what I like about Briggs Pizza is that they have gluten-free options. So any pizza that you get, you can order it gluten-free if you like. There was no way I was finishing my portion, so I asked the waitress for some ice, which I put in a container, and then I would put the pizza on top, kind of like a mini cooler. This is where we ate Rick's wood-fired pizza. And we're just gonna move the car so as not to take up parking for someone else coming to eat. And we're gonna just literally go across over there to the movies. And then we spotted a real RV, which I've never been in. Totally curious, would like to go in one one of these days. Can you imagine Kenton and I traveling across the US in an RV? <laughs> Congratulations on what? My new car. Oh. <laughs> you saw me driving, Habibo was harassing you. <laughs> and for sure teaching me how to use the phone. Right. Which I didn't know how. <laughs> People say I'm your twin. I don't know how. I have no idea what they're looking at. <laughs> what they're looking at. Mm, I'm several sizes bigger than you. Face is a different shape. Round. Your face is not round. It's just round. Mm -hmm. There's nobody here. There's nobody here. Um, Put your legs up. Trying to see. So where's the button? To your right. Oh, okay. Cool. Never, <laughs> never come see. <laughs> I've always wanted one of these chairs like in the house. You know, kick your feet up and relax. We could have watched um, the Transformers. People I've never seen before, none of them. I don't know these people. Two of 20 seconds. Let's do this. Okay, next. <laughs> so yes, while the previews are running, Kenton is actually studying. He has earbuds and we love watching previews before the movie starts. And yes, this movie, which is actually a black comedy horror film, was picked by Kenton. <laughs> <laughs> Mind your fall down. Yeah, exactly. I find pretty humor sometimes. I didn't even know they had a British YouTube. Well, it's YouTubers. I right, that happened I to be like, British. I don't really watch American YouTubers. I watch British. Really, Kareem? Interesting. Well, maybe you'll get married to a British girl one day. Look who decided to come visit. Hopefully, he doesn't get startled away. Let me see him. So this is footage from Bashir, my brother Bashir, or who we refer to as Uncle Bashir from New York. And the audio is not great, so I'm just going to have some fun with this. What in the... is that? <laughs> what is that? What is that? Is that a beaver? Is that a rat? Is that a squirrel? What is that? I don't know what I'm looking at. It is a very strange animal. All I know is Bashir has now acquired a lot of animals around his property that he is feeding. Okay? So he's got all kinds of birds, all kinds of bird feeders, and all kinds of interesting creatures that show up to his backyard. Yeah, I got the feeders all over. Apparently he has some hummingbirds and hummingbird feeders too straight ahead. And just a lot going on, a lot of birds. Gotta clean up the deck. Are you into bird watching? Apparently that's a male woodpecker. Look at that. I'm telling you, those birds are just loving living around Bashir. He is just feeding them. His money is going to bird food. <laughs> you know how they say, where did your money go? Bashir's goes to feeding the animals and the birds and the nature around him. 
And that's a cardinal. Yeah, that is definitely a cardinal drinking. I wish I was a pet living around Bashir. I would be so fat. Well, actually, I'm already fat now, right? <laughs> oh, how sweet. That cardinal's drinking, that fuzzy creature eating, and they're not fighting, living in harmony. How nice. <laughs> Man, the way that rat thing is eating and stuffing itself, I wonder if it's pregnant. Or maybe it knows something bad is about to happen to the world and so it's, you know, stocking up. I don't know. Anyway, the hummingbird's still doing its thing, enjoying life, drinking up that sweet nectar. How beautiful. <laughs> How beautiful. We all deserve some sweet nectar. Instinctively knows exactly where to go to drink. You know something? But seriously, Hummingbirds are so beautiful and I love watching them. We actually have a lot of hummingbirds here in North Carolina, but ours are like reddish or bluish. Anyway, they move super fast and it's an honor to be able to actually see them. Now this here, Mrs. I'm gonna assume it's a woman. She is really getting at it with this corn. She is really stuffing herself. I don't know, did you sprinkle crack into that corn, Bashir? And look at that, Little Miss Cardinal is back. We have to find names for these birds, honestly. But sure, you need some names for all these birds <laughs> so I can continue to amuse myself. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this vlog. I know it's like all over the place. We started off with the washing machine and then we went to the movies. We had a little bit to eat. I really hope you enjoyed it and say hello to Bashir. And yeah, come back soon. Oh, by the way, did you watch my last unboxing? I hope you did, my luxury unboxing. And will you be getting that Timu washing machine? <laughs> will you? I don't know. Let me know. Bye. See you soon.